to the second episode. Uh, today's more of like a sped by episode kind of. I sped up a lot of footage, you know, did a lot of stuff. But the long and short of it is we built a, uh, you know what, an iron farm this episode, Tango Tech's Iron Foundry. Love it. Uh, and so then, uh, so we built the slime farm where we spent a we, we got all the hoppers put in for the slime farm. Uh, so, yeah. I was not going to be, I, I was not building a uh, Zoomavoid chunk based slime farm. Because, frankly, I did not have enough space uh, to do so. Which sucks. So, yeah. Uh, we built a dual skeleton farm this episode because there's a spawner right, like, there. I spawned. So, yeah. My potatoes are done. Jump right into it, I guess. Just roll, roll the clips. <sighs> well, I got the 19 by 19 platform thing, uh, you know, like outlined, but I need to fill it in. So I'll get back to you guys when I have uh, filled it in and built a three high wall around it. Okay, um, I have gone out to my 12 blocks on this side. Little thing here. And one, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait a second. This is south. What? Alright, so this is west. This is south. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah. Alright, so I'll see you when I've got my little thing set up. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I filled in. Uh, well, not filled in, but I've, uh, got the rings around this entire area. Um, yeah. Now I gotta fill these in. <laughs> Build, like, freaking pillars over there. Put in some doors. Make a village. Possibly destroy that one over there. <sighs> and condense it down so that there are 44 villages. Ugh. It's gonna be wonderful. So I'm gonna get a thousand seven hundred iron an hour. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, I'm gonna love it. I'm so excited. See you guys in a bit. Woo! All right, guys. Um, now this is insane. All right, I haven't really built such a large-scale sort of project thing in a long, long time. And I'm glad to be getting back into that. This water bucket, I swear, for getting off of high places, it is like an ender pearl. I swear. So, it may look kind of derp, but it looks really cool uh, from a distance, actually. Look at that. And the lag is gone. Look at this. Mm. Ah, I'd like to make that my wife. Oh, God, look at that. So, it's time that I explain kind of what's going on. Um, since I kind of just jumped right into this, uh, well, there was a little part at the beginning, but that's not going to happen until I'm done filming. Uh, this, so it's weird. Uh, but, so anyway, what this is, is it's an iron farm. At, like, at the very end, when I'm done filming all this stuff, I'm going to do, a, like, a little explaining bit, you know, where I explain stuff. So, uh, where I explain what we're going to be doing in this episode, so... That's going to be filmed after, but um, before it's going to be played, before I show any of this. So anyway, this is what's going on. Um, this is the Iron Foundry by uh, Tango Tech. I mentioned that in the beginning, afterward of the video. Alright. And uh, so basically, why I have to put... Normally, I like to have like a normal open sort of space, but with this, you have to have it exactly this roof uh, you have to have it because a village uh, consists of different like it consists of a wooden door and a roof and some walls right at least like two, three walls I think so this whole place is gonna be filled in with wooden doors and out there we're gonna have like a temporary little structure about three 63 blocks out 64 blocks out with just a bunch of doors in it and we're gonna have a villager on top of that door and then we're just gonna 
chain these villages together so that they all condense into one mega village over there. And then we're going to slowly bring all the villages back over here. Uh, Tango Tech explained it in his video really well, but it's a 56 minute long video and there's no like shortcuts to, you know, his explaining it. So either you watch it all or you, you know, don't um, get it. So, yeah. So what we have to do is we're going to bring all the villages out, bring them back in. Now, this seems like a relatively small space to spawn iron golems, and we're, we're also going to have a top floor for that, but it produces 1,700 iron per hour. And what this does is, uh, it's the iron trench, which was uh, Tango Tech's previous design, it's sort of like, which I was actually going to build on the server, it's huge and it's immense, but uh, it takes a bunch of redstone. and. So eventually, if you unload the chunks uh, and stuff, they'll, all the villages will merge together into one mega village instead of condensing it into a bunch of villages stacked over each other. Uh, condensing villages. So what the Iron Trench did was it took all the villages and it did a bunch of redstone just to reset those villages and push all the doors back, you know, that kind of thing. But with this, it's just going to make it so the doors never form into one mega village using a a nether portal despawn loading chunk loading timer discovered by panda4994 ah oh god it's gonna be it's gonna be brilliant because it it's not cheap and it's not easy to make but it's much simpler to understand and to you know I guess it's easier to make but it takes a little bit longer to make in my opinion than the iron trench because I've made the iron trench before on a world but uh, this will take a little bit shorter time to make, but it's a lot simpler to understand. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish some of the structure and get some of the village chainings in. Uh, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Forgive me, Father. I've done terrible things, and I shall commit my last. Hello, Mr. Villager. You offered me the enchanted iron pickaxe that I got in the beginning of the first episode. But you've offered me so much more. The sharpest one diamond sword for only a diamond sword and an emerald. That's a good deal. But it's... <clears throat> As with all villagers, there must be an end be it by zombie, be it by player. As it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, it will change because I'm gonna kill you. No. There you go, I'm sorry. Hey, you know what, that wasn't a bad trade actually. I, you know, I was hoping that you would give me like I have an ender for a second. I was hoping that you would give me Eyes of Ender for your second trade, because I actually kind of need those to beat the Ender Dragon, because I am terrible at killing Endermen. But oh well. I don't have a free diamond sword and four emeralds, so when I get into villager trading, hopefully someone exactly like you will come up and... Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Feels good. Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, I should never have done- Ah! I do things unmerciful! Oh lord! Ah! Huh. Is, um, this enough doors for you? Am I right? Just changing in villages, nothing to it, just chain the villages for hours on end. I'm just chaining villages for hours and hours. It's been several hours of chaining villages. Gonna 
like it so much higher that it'll be worth it. But is it at a cost? My sanity certainly is wearing down from chaining villages for at least half an hour. I screwed up once and it took me like 30 minutes to rectify the mistake because I was stupid. Oh god, guys, um, I hope you guys are watching this and enjoying the content, I mean, I better get at least a like on this video for what I'm putting myself through. Now, honestly, it's for fun for me, you know, too, but I just need to be shown some love. Alright, because this isn't exactly the fun part of Minecraft. Um, now, uh, certainly I'll fall into a rhythm later, but not yet. Um, and certainly I been doubting that I will ever fall into a rhythm, because this is just slave labor. I, I know a couple slaves who'd beg to differ, but I mean, Jesus. Alright, well, I'll get back to you guys once I've successfully chained both of these. <laughs> I have to do, after this branch, I have to do two more. I have to do one more. And I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. Tango Tech, you better have gotten your tutorial right, okay? I cannot afford any mistakes. I'm losing doors. Oh, guys. See you in a, a second for you. <laughs> All right, well, I was exhausted. Um, it's not even the end of today's episode. Uh. I still am deciding whether to build a, uh, you know, a, a skeleton farm or a blaze farm. I'll, I'll probably build a skeleton farm. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. At least we got the hopper, all iron stuff taken care of, so. Yeah. Big thank you to Tango Tech for designing this because not only did put me through the most tedious, I just put, I threw all the extra doors into fire, because I want to forget everything that's happened to, build, to make this happen, uh, and I'm kind of sorry that you guys didn't get to see all of it, because some of my footage got cut out, and he did, he did, I just gotta go finish up all, I'm just gonna go to bed, actually. Let's go this in bed. Uh, I'll see. Ya. I'll do an AFK test, and then I'll get all of the. See how much iron I get, and yeah, I'll go in bed. Uh, bye until the next cut, I guess. <laughs>
Well, this is actually a bit interesting. Um, I didn't expect to come across this, but um, I was just digging out the uh, an area for like a a nano farm that I wanted to make, and yeah. So yeah, but um, yeah, I just finished the skeleton farm, and uh, I got a bunch of bones, but. I also installed a mod, um, and this mod you guys might not like, um, but it's, it's the x-ray mod, and did I just do that? I just killed it with it. <coughs> it's the x-ray mod, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it, alright, but, okay, uh, but, the x-ray mod, what it does is it allows you to x-ray for, you know, like, ores and stuff. But there's also some very handy features in it. So you can see that there's my, uh, on top of my screen there are like, coordinates, right? So that, uh, is what the mod does. It, it also displays coordinates. But I'm gonna close my eyes right now. Uh, you can't really see if I'm closing my eyes or not. It's like, let me block myself in. But you guys can't really see. You're going to have to take my word for it, okay? So I'm going to press X. Where is X? It's here. You guys can see. There. So. Uh, so. It x-rays for ores. Um, and. what? And there's also some other handy features that I like. You know, because YouTube renders things that are slightly dark. Darker than they should be. So if I block off this lava here, it'll go like almost instantly dark. Right, like that. It'll go pretty dark. Well, I guess, I guess I should just show you guys this in the, this, like this room. All right. So in the dark room, um, my brightness is white, and I don't know why it keeps on resetting it to far. So if I press L, it'll light it up. All right. Since I don't have the editing capabilities to increase gamma, all right. And the only reason I've really ever placed torches anywhere is to, uh, you know, the only reason I would ever place torches anywhere is to, you know, the water kind of looks like this, is to uh, stop moss from spawning. Uh, and in that case, I'll turn off, you know, I'll turn off the X-ray mod. I'll turn off the the light up feature, which is fine, but in caves like this, it's, it gets a bit difficult to see. I think I'll, I'll have to check it up, but I just wanted to show you guys this. So, uh, I think I might keep the light up feature on uh, for, you know, like darker places. Because the only reason I would put torches anywhere is to, you know, stop mobs from spawning. And since I can see just fine, right, but you guys can't. So, I think it might be a handy solution to a problem that's an actual problem. Alright, now, I'm not going to use it to cheat. And I literally, like, just installed this mod while I was working on a skeleton farm. I thought, you know what, I might need to install the X-Ray mod to, uh, for the coordinate stuff. Because I, I had seen a review of it. Yeah, I had seen a review of it before. Those times where you're reminded that you're not actually on Peaceful. Um, I saw a review for it and I saw what it did. I saw there was good things, there were bad things about it. But I decided to take in the good things. And the good things, it's not cheaty, cheaty. Fudge sickles. Scaring me? Scaring me? Uh, but it's not always bad. Sorry for that little interruption there, my. I need to update, upgrade some more RAM on my computer because it's, it's looking a little bad. Um, so, yeah. Now, if you guys don't like the fact that I'm using the light up feature, that's fine. I was just using it for, like, the way it looks for you guys. So, if that, if people don't like that, then I'll, I'll obviously uninstall it, but, you know, uh, I'll keep it if, you know, people think it's cheating. 
Which I don't think it is. Like, I'm not using it to x ray the things. Alright, those diamonds were literally just happenstance. Which is odd because I usually have to open the world seed into a new world to look for diamonds, which is not cheaty in my uh in my book. I don't find it cheaty because that's utilizing your uh your cap your capabilities why is there a this open out into the slime? Yeah, this opens up into the slime form. Well, I know where I am now. Like, right here. So, yeah. Just wanted to, um, give you a little blah 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 about that. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna build a nano farm. I'm not gonna say it's my design. Because I'm sure that someone else has designed it. It's just too convenient. It's too resource light for it not to be, not to have been designed by someone else. Uh, so uh, it probably had been before, but I don't know who you are if you did design it. And I'm sorry. And if I find someone who designed it, I'll link it right into the description. So for it, we need five blocks up. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So, the, I'm not going to record myself building it, but it needs to be down a little bit. I need to get down. Because I want, I want this to be the platform to stand on. Oh, I gotta put my stuff away. And guys, what you're about to see when I put my stuff away is not, you know, like, because of the x-ray mod. It's purely because I've been doing a lot of script mining lately. It's been fun. I mean, like a lot of strip mining lately. Like a lot of strip mining lately. Um. So that's, like, a lot of strip mining. That's more diamonds than I've ever had on any world ever. So, it's not because of the x-ray mod. Certainly not. It's just because I'm good, I guess. I'm, I'm a G. I don't hate don't hate. So, yep, yeah, I'll get on building with the nano farm, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Woohoo! Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today's episode. We, uh, did a lot today. Uh, even though it may not have seemed like a lot, because I just time-lapsed most of it. But, we did get a bunch of, we, did, we got the iron foundry done, which was great. But, we, I made a mistake. And I made the mistake. Not Tango Ted. His design is pretty much literally perfect in almost every way. It could need a little. It could get a little bit more, uh, you know, refined. But it works great for what it does. Uh, and yeah. So I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna wake up, and I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna come home. And I'm going to realize that I have to do all of these doors again. These damnable, horrible, disgusting doors that I must do for nothing. To appease God, or whatever twisted mind invented this game. But yeah. So, I'm just going to go do that and wake up, have a fun day, and we'll uh, catch you next time. Uh, we're going to be building a blaze farm next episode, and we're going to be updating to 1.7 next episode, and we're going to be building another tunnel next episode, and we're going to be building the being the ender dragon next episode, we're going to be doing all these things next episode. And next episode is going to be a lot more professional because I'll get a bunch of new stuff and I'll plan it out a lot more. And I'll talk a bit more than I have been in the past couple episodes. So, yeah. To anyone who's actually still stuck around through the entirety of it, uh, thanks for watching. And for those who didn't stick around through the entirety of it, um, have fun not knowing what I'm saying right now. So, I found a stronghold. I'm gonna, I, my
find the library out, so gonna be gonna be killing the Ender Dragon, doing some stuff next level, we're doing some fun stuff. I'm ready to have fun, but I'm ready to also rest, so there's that. And yeah, so see you next time, guys. John from the Lost Gaming League and Server Lag. So yeah.